first out of the gate for the casinos to report earnings, and no wonder why they did not want to sit on the good news. A beat on both the top and bottom lines. Earnings come in uh, per share, 91 cents versus the estimated 87 cents. And the net revenues beat estimates here, 3.65 billion versus 3.49 billion. They beat in every segment of the market here. I'm looking at Macau. The estimate from the um, analysts was 2.2 billion. They came in at 2.33 billion. They beat at the Marine and Bain Sands. Um, they beat in Las Vegas as well. In Bethlehem last March in Pennsylvania, they had their highest table hold ever. So on the call, we're going to be looking for several uh, items here. We're going to be looking for what the Chinese economic numbers are doing to the market in Macau. Is it encouraging people to come and gamble their money? And especially that VIP sector, we know that the margins are more important in the mass, and that's what it, where the trend is right now. But the VIP gamblers are very important. We're also going to be listening for what the plan is, what the expected return on investment is in Singapore for a $3.3 billion expansion. Uh, Harry Curtis of Incinet told me that he thinks it's really more about just keeping the license and keeping the cash flow there, that that's what they needed to do to keep the license through 2030. And I'll also be listening on this call for any update about the health of CEO and Chairman Sheldon Adelson. Guys?